to rent? Let's talk upfront costs. Hey, future renters, are you gearing up to lease a new apartment? Let's break down those initial expenses that might be stressing you out. We'll cover everything from the first month's rent, security deposits, and application fees to pet fees and more. With years of experience as trusted property managers, we've got the tips and insights you need to start your rental journey confidently. Let's dive in and make renting a breeze. First up, the application fee. This non-refundable cost ranging from $25 to $100 covers your landlord's tenant screening expenses. Though it adds to your initial costs, it's a standard part of renting. Expect to pay this fee when you start your rental application. First month's rent, what you need to know. Landlords almost always require the first month's rent up front. This payment secures your right to start living in your new place from day one. It's not an extra charge or deposit, just your initial rent payment, equivalent to your regular monthly rent. Demystifying security deposits. The security deposit is a common upfront cost when renting. Typically equal to one month's rent, this refundable deposit is held by the landlord throughout your lease. In general, it can't exceed two months' rent in the first year. If you leave the apartment in good condition and fulfill your lease terms, you'll get your deposit back. If there are damages or unpaid rent, the landlord can use the deposit to cover those costs. But pro tip, before moving in, do a walkthrough with your landlord to document any existing damage. This ensures you're not held responsible for pre-existing issues when you move out. The average security deposit cost is around one to two months rent, but some states have maximum limits. Last month's rent, what to expect. In many states, tenants often pay the last month's rent upfront when signing the lease. This amount, equivalent to your monthly rent, is typically paid along with the security deposit. While it increases your initial cost, it's a common practice to secure your rental agreement. Like the monthly rent, this cost varies based on your monthly rate per the lease agreement. Pet rent versus pet security deposit. Pets are often regarded as a member of the family, but if you want to move your pet into a rental, there may be an extra fee. Many landlords choose to charge an additional pet security deposit or monthly pet rent or both. However, how are those two different from each other? Pet rent. This is a fee you pay on a monthly basis along with your rent, and you can't get it back. That said, a pet fee can be between $25 and $100 for each pet, depending on the property and your specific agreement. It often depends on how big, heavy, or the type of pet you have. So be prepared to answer questions about your pet and their health history as part of the application process. Pet deposit. This is a one-time payment. Landlords usually ask for $200 to $500 per pet. This money acts as a security deposit in case your pet damages anything. Unlike pet rent, you can get this money back if everything's okay when you move out. Get ready for moving costs. Moving costs are often underestimated, but you might want to put this into your budget as an upfront cost as you prepare to rent. Moving costs vary depending on several factors, such as whether you hire professionals or decide to move yourself. If you choose to hire professional movers, the cost you will depend on the distance of the move, the volume of items being moved, and any additional services you might need, like packing and unpacking your belongings. A local move can cost anywhere from $500 to $2,000, while a long-distance move can easily reach a few thousand dollars when hiring professionals. Remember, these are just averages, and the actual costs can vary depending on your location, the specific apartment, and your situation. But if you do decide to reach out to professionals, do so well in advance as the schedule of reputable movers can fill up quickly. For more videos and topics related to all things real estate, check us out online via the link in description or give us a call. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. We will see you in the next video.